So what if there's a problem or you need to go back and make changes? You can do so. We're going to now go to search end of days. Now, since we've processed this end of day, I would want to make sure the process button is checked and then you can search. Okay, here's the end of day. I'm going to double click on it and you will now see where it shows that it has been processed and posted. So if there were changes to be made, you would first need to come to undo and unpost your end of day. All right, it's showing here. The records have now been deleted from QuickBooks and the word posted is no longer there. And then you go to the undo and click unprocess and you'll see it no longer says processed. Of course, you'll make any changes as necessary and then go back through the procedure by clicking on the process button. It's now processed. Close that and then back onto the Office Operation tab to list unposted EODs and go through the posting to QuickBooks procedure again. Now, this time when we post it to QuickBooks, it will not recognize those customers as being new in the list. Okay, here we are. And I'm gonna double click on that end of day and I want to make sure I go through and ensure there's no blanks, making sure all of my totals are accurate. And then remember your view transactions where you can view warranties and invoices with deposits. Remember if you're doing a manual post to QuickBooks, you'll click mark as posted. Otherwise, click Send to QuickBooks and then click Save. All right, receive these payments by clicking on that button. Again, all of my customers will be recognized this time, so we do not have to add them into the list. And this should take just a moment. All right, the invoice was created in QuickBooks. Okay, let's close that. And one last time, we'll go into search end of days. It is now processed, so I'm gonna search and then open it up, double click. And you see now it is processed and posted once again.